Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Subcircuit Builder in eSIM. In this tutorial, using eSIM, we will learn to create a subcircuit and create a component schematic. To record this tutorial, we will use Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, eSIM version 2.0. To practice this tutorial, you should know how to create and simulate a circuit in eSIM. If not, watch the prerequisite eSIM tutorials on this website. The subcircuit file always begins with the dot subcircuit statement. Subname is the subcircuit component name. N1, N2 are the nodes. The subcircuit ends with dot and is followed by the subcircuit name. To launch eSIM, you need to double click on the eSIM icon on your desktop. I have already opened eSIM. Let us now create a subcircuit for a half adder. On the eSIM window, click on the subcircuit button from the left toolbar. A subcircuit tab will open up. In the subcircuit tab, click on the New Subcircuit Schematic button. A new schematic pop up window appears. Enter schematic name as half adder underscore new. Click on the OK button. Now click the S button in the confirmation dialog box. The schematic editor window opens up. The user can create a schematic or import an existing schematic. We will use the latter method. To create a new schematic, you can refer to the previous tutorials in this series. I have already created a half adder circuit using basic gates in eSIM. Pause the video here. Download the half adder basic gates project file from the code file section. Extract and save the project file on the desktop. On eSchema, click on the file option from the top menu. Select append schematic sheet option. In the confirmation dialog box, click on the S button. Click on desktop. Double click on Half Adder Basic Gates folder. The schematic file SCH will be selected. Click on the Open button in the file window. You can see the schematic of the half adder is added to the editor. Press the F1 key to zoom in the schematic. Now we will connect ports to the input and output terminals of the gates. Click on the Place Component tool from the right toolbar. Click on the editor. In the filter field, type eSIM underscore miscellaneous. Select Port and press the drop down arrow. Click on Unit A and click on the OK button. Port Unit A will be tied to the cursor. Place it near the input pin 1 of the XOR gate. Similarly, place port unit B near the input pin 1 of the AND gate. Place port unit C and port unit D near the output pin of the XOR gate and AND gate respectively. Here, the port unit indicates pins of the subcircuit. Unit A is pin 1. Unit B, C and D are the pin number 2, 3, 4 of the subcircuit respectively. To rotate the port C, place the cursor on port unit C and press the R key. A clarify selection pop-up window appears. Select port U and press the R key. Similarly, rotate port D. 
connect the ports to the pins with wires. Place the cursor on the pin 1 of port A and press the W key to start the wire. Drag it to the wire connecting the pin 1 of the XOR gate and AND gate. Click once to end the wire. A junction will be placed on the wire. Similarly, connect all the ports to the pins as shown here. Let us now annotate the schematic. Click on the Annotate Schematic Components icon from the top toolbar. Keep the default settings. Click on the Annotate button. Click on the OK button. Save the schematic by pressing Ctrl S keys together. Let us generate a netlist for the schematic. Click on the Generate Netlist icon from the top toolbar. Select the Spice tab and check the default format. Click on Generate button and then click the Save button. This creates a Keycad Netlist file. Now let us go back to the ESIN window. In the Subcircuit tab, click on the Convert Keycat to NGSPICE button. You can specify the transient analysis parameters or leave it blank. I am leaving these values blank. If any device model or subcircuit is used, specify them under Device Modeling or Subcircuit tab. In the Keycat to NGSPICE tab, press the Convert button. Click on the OK button in the Information dialog box. This creates a NGSPICE netlist of the subcircuit created. You can see the subcircuit half adder new is added to the subcircuit library in the eSIM directory. Now let us create a component schematic for the half adder subcircuit. The components are also referred to as parts or symbols. Go back to the eSIM editor of Half Adder Schematic. Click on the Library Editor icon from the top toolbar. The schematic window of the Part Library Editor opens up. You can also find the Library Editor option from the Tools option on the top menu. Click on the File option from the top menu. Click on the Current Library option. Choose eSIM underscore subcircuit option. Click on the OK button. The current library path of the library selected is displayed at the top of the part library editor window. To create a new component, click on Create a new component icon from the top toolbar. A component properties window opens up. Enter the following. Component name as HA underscore new. Default reference designator as X. The designator is different for each eSIM component. D is used for diode. Q is used for BJT and so on. Keep the default settings. Click on the OK button in the window. Press F1 key to zoom in the schematic name and designator. You can add a rectangle, circle, arc or polygons as the component body. I will add a rectangle as a component body. Click on Add Graphic Rectangle to Component Body tool from the right toolbar. Click on the editor. Click and drag the rectangle. Click again to end the rectangle body. Arrange the designator and name of the component. Place the cursor on the name and designator and press the key M. Now add input and output pins. Click on add pins to component tool from the right toolbar. Click on the editor. 
pin properties window will appear. Enter pin name as A, pin number as 1, orientation as right, electrical type as input, graphic style as line. Click on the OK button in the window. The pin is tied to the cursor. Connect it as shown here. Click on the editor again in a similar way. Add pin number 2 with pin name as B. Click again on the editor. Enter the following. Pin name as sum. Pin number as 3. Orientation as left. Electrical type as output. Graphic style as line. Click on the OK button. In a similar way, add pin number 4 with pin name CY. Let us save the schematic symbol. Click on File option from the top menu. Click on the Save Current Library option. Click the S button in the confirmation box. You can see here the component is added to eSIM underscore subcircuit library. Click once again the S button in the confirmation box. Close the part library editor window. This will save the new component to the current library eSIM underscore subcircuit. The eSIM subcircuit library file is found in the KiCad library as shown here. As you can see, the component HA underscore new is defined here. If you want to delete any component, you can also delete the component in this file. Now, we can verify the created subcircuit and its component schematic. You can use the half adder example project from the eSIM examples folder or create a new project. You can also download the example HA underscore test from the code file section. You can verify the component and subcircuit created. I have created a new project HA underscore test. The project is already added to eSIM windows under the project section. Select HA test and click on the open schematic button from the left toolbar. It directs us to the eSIM schematic window. You can see the HA underscore new component will be present under eSIM subcircuit library. Let us go back to the eSIM window. In the KiCad to NGSpice analysis tab, I have already specified transient parameters. In the source details tab, the voltage sources are assigned as 5 volts. In the subcircuit tab, the path of the half adder underscore new is added. You can see the NGSpice plots and terminal. Since both inputs are 5 volts, sum will be 0 and carry will be 5 volts. You can also see the values in the NGSpice terminal. Close the NGSpice terminal and plots. In the Python plot window, check the sum and CY node. Click on the plot button. The sum is 0 volts and carry is 5 volts. Close the Python plot window. In this tutorial, we learned how to create a subcircuit and create a component schematic. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. For any general or technical questions on eSIM, visit the FOSI forum and post your question. The FOSI team coordinates the circuit simulation project. We give certificates and honorarium to the contributors. For more details, please visit this website. The FOSI team coordinates the lab migration project. 
For more details, please visit this website. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. This is Gloria N. from IIT Bombay, signing off. Thank you.